Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Mathlete. In today's video we're going to be learning how to solve simultaneous equations on our Casio Classways calculators and it's a very useful feature and if it come across uh, in, if this question comes in a test where calculators are allowed so make sure that you use this feature to check your answers. Alright so let's get straight to it. So the first thing that you want to do is, uh, I have my Casio Classways here, is that you want to reset your calculator, right? So here's how you do it. Uh, so you press shift, you press nine, where you can see it says reset, all right? Now it's, it, it's asking what you want to do. So ideally I want to reset everything, which is at number three. So I'm going to initialize all, and in order to proceed, I need to press the equals to sign, and then to bring it back to normal, I need to press AC, all right? So here we go. Uh, press menu first, all right? And then we need to navigate to equation, and for that, I'm going to move one unit right, you can say, and then once, twice, twice downwards, all right? Here you'll see equation slash function, so in order to enter, the, into this function I need to press A and here as you can see we have A printed all right so here we are now the question the calculator wants to know what kind of uh, equation do you want to solve so right now I want to solve simultaneous equations so I'm going to press 1 all right here's the equation that I'm going to solve and uh, right now the calculator wants to know how many unknowns uh, do we have in our equation so we can see that we have two unknowns all right so we're going to press 2 so here we are so I need to enter the coefficient of x, y, and then the constant, all right, for equation one, and it's exactly the same for equation two as well. All right, so I can see that the coefficient of x in the first equation is three, so I'm gonna press three and then equals two, so there we have it. And then the coefficient of y is two, so in order to place two there, I'm gonna type two and press equals two. So there we have two, and then the constant right after the equation is equal to five. All right, so here, there we have our first equation entered. Now I'm gonna enter the second equation as it is. Now take extra precaution of the sign. So the coefficient of x is minus two, and then the coefficient of y is negative five. So there you go. And then the constant is equal to four. So I'm gonna punch in four, ready for the magic. Press equals two, there you go. The value of x is equals to three and the value of y is equals to negative two, all right? So as I said, we're only gonna use this to verify our answers, all right? You can't, unless, unless it's an MCQ-based test in which calculators are allowed, then of course it makes sense. Uh, otherwise, if you're talking about O levels, A levels, then in, in those questions, you need to show working, all right? So remember, once you're done with the test, all right, um, if you have time, so make sure that you that you check all your answers and we're going to be learning about more amazing features that we have in this class based calculator so stay tuned for that and make sure that you like my video and share it with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to my channel now is a good time i'll see you guys in the next video take care